fabulous and happy new year it's 2020 i hope you guys are having a fabulous you know 2020 so far i hope you're making your life fabulous and before we get into this topic i want to give a shout out to a couple of my subscribers that have made my 2019 very fabulous so let's start off with Voltron Supreme. I freaking love you. You support me on every video. It's very appreciated and I love the support. I love the love that you give me. So let's ride 8832. I think I got that right. Please go support him and his channel. I love you as well. You support me on almost every video as well. And thank you, thank you, thank you. He does motorcycle um, videos about, you know, safety tips and gears. Please give him some support and love. Um, Trayvon Jones, thank you for the positive energy. Thank you for the comments and support. Please, guys, he does a black conscious YouTube channel please check him out please give him some love and support and also V money he's a rapper that um, we we support each other on Instagram and recently we have started to support each other on YouTube so please also go check him out check out his YouTube channel check out his music he's a great rapper I like his flow I like his lyrics you know check him out please guys and for the rest of my subscribers thank you for your support thank you for your love throughout 2019 and for everyone I wish you nothing but positive energy and an abundance of blessings for this new decade and like I've said in the previous video only positive energy is allowed in this year anything negative done mm -mm. cut it out we get rid of everything negative guys so let's get into the topic new year's resolutions is a start of a new year people are going to be posting their new year's resolutions their goals their ambitions and I've came across a lot of negative posts who are saying, oh, you're not going to do shit. You're not going to be shit. So why are you bothering? New Year, same old you. I'm like, if you feel like a loser, if you feel like a failure, okay, good on you. You do you. But please don't interrupt someone else going after their blessings because that's just negative energy that's just a major discouragement so my advice my advice to my fabulous people is if you got a goal if you got an ambition if you have resolutions please don't post them because people are just going to send you negative energy they're going to send you discouragement and you do not want to feel discouraged I advise you like when you accomplish what you want to accomplish then you post that shit because then nobody can discourage you and nobody can say anything negative about you because your results speak for themselves okay so my advice when you are wanting to go after your goals and your ambitions make sure you do a checklist Please don't doubt the power of a checklist because what it does, it holds you accountable to your actions of what you are doing or what you are not doing. Because you might say, like, let's say for example, that you want to lose weight, right? You don't have a checklist. You, you are not like writing down your journal, like your progress and what you're doing and what you want to accomplish, what you need to do further. Um, so you're kind of going off in the dark. You, you don't know what you're doing next. 
and then that's how you get burnt out because you don't know what is next you're just going off of the top of your head so let me give you an example example of you know using a checklist okay so some of you know by now I live in the UK and when I decided I wanted to move to the UK girl I was like what you know about the UK you ain't know nobody in the UK you don't have no job you don't got no place to stay you ain't got no money to go honey what are you doing <laughs> so so I said to myself you know what I'm gonna make a checklist and I'm gonna see you know what happens because I don't know if that was gonna happen for me if I was gonna get to go you know I just had so much negative thoughts so but I say you know what I'm just gonna try I'm just gonna try it do this checklist and check off you know whatever I can accomplish okay so I did up this checklist and when I was finished I was so overwhelmed it's like all of this stuff I have to do but as I started to check off the easy ones then I get into the intermediate ones and then I'm realizing I'm getting through the checklist I'm getting things done I know what I have to do next I know what I have to research I know what I have to get so it really helps me and now I'm here but I looked, I looked all, all over my house for this checklist. I couldn't find it because I wanted to show you guys. I thought I kept it because I wanted to keep it. Keep it for memory's sake. For any time like I'm feeling down and I'm feeling unaccomplished, I can look back and it say, look what you've done. Look where you are. Look how far you have come. Even though you might not be where you want to be, but you have come so far. Just look at your accomplishments. Just look at the positivity. This is the power of a checklist. And let me give you an example of why you shouldn't really tell people what you're doing. All this year, we are moving in silence. We are moving in silence and we are just posting about our accomplishments. Okay, so I finally got the courage to go to a dentist because I wanted to get my teeth fixed for the longest but I have no money I'm broke I'm broke girl I'm broke I ain't got no money but I said to myself you know it's 2020 let me at least go to the this dentist up here in the UK and see what's the quotation to see if I can save you know to get my teeth fixed to see what I can do to get it done to make myself feel good, to make myself more confident, to give myself more positive energy. Okay, so I was so excited after I came from the dentist. I told a family member and it's like, you know, they have negative, they brought negative energies. Like they're grilling me, they're interrogating me. I, I just didn't feel good. It, it made me feel discouraged. Like, you know what, girl, you ain't got no money. Where, where the hell are you going? You can't afford this. Yeah, so they were asking me all kind of questions like, oh, isn't um the the health system free in the UK? You see, they gave me advice and they don't even freaking know. Dentists and medical is two different things. Is the medical is free, dentistry is not free. And they're asking me, did you get a second opinion? Or like, you giving me second opinion money for consultation? It costs money, honey. Mm -mm. And uh oh, why are they advising you to do that? And what caused you to go to the dentist? And why you want to go to the dentist? Something wrong with your teeth? What? I'm like, what? I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. too much negative energy and I just felt so sorry I said anything I said you know what I should have took my own advice and moved in silence and then when I have the results they could be like damn you did all that girl that is amazing instead of like discouraging you I don't like that 
so like i told you move in silence we we just rolling with positive energy do your checklist go after what you want because you never know how far you can go until you try if you don't even try you are already failed you have failed yourself if you don't at least believe in yourself how you expect others to believe in you and your abilities so as i tell you just positive energy go after what you want and make life fabulous even when it's not and you know i hope and i wish and i pray that everyone gets their blessings this year this decade and continue to be positive and i'm gone <laughs>